Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make these unpaper paper towels. You can make an easy paper towel, re reusable paper towel from just an old towel that you have around the house. And all that is required for this is basically um, something to cut the towel up and um, a sewing machine to finish around the edges. And we and after you use them, you can wash them in your washing machine and even bleach them because this is an old towel and you know clean it and then put them back together and roll them onto a, a tube or if you don't have you don't want to roll them up you can always put them in a little basket to have on your kitchen counter so that you can grab these instead of regular paper towels if you don't have the regular paper towels or if you want to conserve them. So our version does have some cam snaps here that are holding the different towels together and that makes them easier to roll onto a roll. This is a thick roll that I found that I had laying around. You can roll them onto an old paper towel roll also to use that to roll them up or you can just even roll them onto themselves where you don't even need a roll. So as you can see I can roll them up and I can have them on my paper towel holder and then as I need one I just can unsnap it and then use it. So there's quite a few options for making these but basically just look around your house, see if you can find an old towel that you don't, you're not using anymore and well, you can cut it up and create these on paper, paper towels. So for these on paper towels, I found a couple of old towels that I had laying around the house and I want to use as much of the towel as I can in my paper towels and I also you left the edges if there was a finished edge on the paper towel already like see this one is the edge of the towel I actually left those edges on there so that I didn't have to finish that side and that leaves a more finished side on that one so a, normal, a regular paper towel this is a bounty paper towel that we have and we usually buy the half size paper towels because they, that way you can use only half a piece at a time and you get more use out of the paper towel, more sheets. So the half a paper towel is six inches wide by 11 inches tall on a normal one. Uh, so two of them together is 12 inches. I'm not exactly sure how big the normal ones are. They might be 11 inches or they might be a little bit more, but the idea is to try to use up as much of the top main towel as you can without wasting it. So what I did was figure that I can make the towels around 11 inches tall and um, somewhere between 6 and 12 inches wide because a normal paper towel like this one could be 6 or 12 inches. So the first step is to measure the width of your towel and my towel is around 28 inches wide and then you take that and try to figure out what an even number to divide by is to make your towels and if I divide 28 by 7 I can get 4 across so I can get 1, 2, 3, 4 paper towels that are seven inches wide across the, the towel. So the length of my towel is about 50 inches long. And so I will cut my towels, instead of being 11 inches tall, I'm going to cut them at 10 inches tall in order to use the most of this towel as I can and get as many paper towels out of one towel as I can. So this is the towel that I started cutting the sample, what I showed you earlier, from. And I am going to cut it at 10 inches tall. 
And if you don't have a rotary cutter and a, and a ruler like this, you can easily take a ruler and just mark on the towel with a pencil or something and then cut on the, make a line and then cut with the scissor on the line. So cut strips from your towel, the height that you decide to make your paper, your unpaper towels. Next, turn each of your towels, the strips, the other direction and cut the width of your unpaper towels. I'll be back when I finish cutting the rest of these on paper towels. So next we have a few options on how you can finish the edges of your tap paper on paper towels. This first one is an overlock stitch and this is actually used this is actually done with my overlocking machine or serger. And if you happen to have a serger in your house this is perfect way to finish the edges of this and it's very quick and easy to do. But most of us don't have a serger, so we have some other options for everyone else. This is a simple zigzag stitch and it's just zigzag. So one end, the one side of the zigzag goes off the edge of the towel and the other side catches into the towel. For this, I used a decorative bright colored thread you could use a matching thread or you could use a decorative one as I have. The last option is on my Bernina machine there is a stitch called the overlocking stitch which is similar stitch to what the serger would do and this one is a good stitch to use also for this project. So let's go to the machine and I will demonstrate each of these types of stitches. First I'll show you with my overlocking machine or serger how to finish the edges. If you have on your piece an already finished edge of the towel, you don't need to do anything with that side of the towel. So on this one I have a finished edge piece there and the other three sides are unfinished. So I will use my overlocker to finish those three sides. For the overlocking machine, it's very simple. This machine will cut, it will trim seams, and it will sew two with two needles, two rows of stitches, and finish the edge all at the same time. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm at my standard sewing machine, and my Bernina has an overlock stitch which is stitch number eight. And if I want to use that stitch, I use the number eight and I leave it at the default settings, which is as wide as a zigzag can go. And the number, the length is close to just a little bit over two. Start at one of the corners and simply start to sew the stitch. And usually the most right side of the stitch is going off the edge of your, your project. And this stitch will move backwards and forwards and it kind of makes little triangles and finishes the edge. When I come to the end of one side, I just kind of go right off the edge and then take it out, turn it, and put it back in and start again on the other side. Then I'll trim those extra, this. Then I'll trim the threads later. I'm going to continue around the other sides of this one and be back in a few minutes. So there's the four sides all done on this one with the overlocking stitch. The last option for stitches that we suggest is using the zigzag stitch. When I pick the zigzag stitch 
it's number two on my machine, I will want to set my width of the zigzag to be the widest width that I can set. That will make it easier for it to go on and off the edge. So again, we want to have the, the right side of the stitch go off the edge of the fabric and the left side to catch on the fabric. And that puts a that puts thread around the side of the fabric, which helps keep it from fraying. The length of the stitch is a little bit shorter than my, a normal zigzag stitch, so I set mine around one and a half. It's up to you um, how wide you want the zigzag to be. So just start your zigzag. For this one, make sure you back tack and go around the whole thing on the unfinished sides. And I finished the zigzag version. So continue to zigzag around or finish around each of your paper towels and then we can go back to showing how to put on the snaps. Okay, so once you have your edges finished on all of your paper towels, your unpaper towels, then you can optionally add the snaps to the paper towels to hold them on the roll better. If you'd like to find written instructions for this project and or where to find cam snaps, a source for the cam snaps to purchase, please click the iCard or the link in the description of the video in order to visit our website needlepointers.com where there will be a page with a photo tutorial on how to do this project and also some links to sources of the supplies for this project. So in order to add the cam snaps, for each cam, for each set of snaps, you need four of the pointy, point, point, pointed pieces of the snap, and you need two outies and two innies snaps. So for each towel section, you're going to put four snaps, and two of them, it's easier if you keep them the same on each side so that you'll be able to snap them together easier in the end and there won't be matching issues. So you want for on this towel I put two any snaps on one side and then on the other side you can see I can see the top the flat top of the snap but on the back side it has the any snaps or the outie snaps. So then when we snap them together, there won't be a problem with snapping, with putting them together into one big long thing because you will always have two to snap to. To install the cam snaps, you can use the pointed tool that comes with the kit and put a hole through your towel in the corner. And we don't really have to measure because, you know, we're not being exact with this. We're trying to make these fast and easy. And then I can put the one side of the snap and squeeze it with the, the cam snap tool. And that compresses the point of the snap down and secures the snap. If my instructions here for installing the cam snaps are not sufficient, then please visit the website I talked about, the web page, and there'll be a link to a full tutorial on how to install cam snaps, which we've done previously. So there I've put now, notice I've put the same one on the same side, and they're both facing the same direction. And it's done. So then on the other side, I'm going to face the snaps downwards. So I am going to insert it from top to bottom this time, instead of before I inserted it bottom to top. 
flip it over and put the other side of the snap on this side. So there's the four snaps all installed on this piece. The thing I do suggest is that you always test your snaps a few times by putting them and opening them and closing them to make sure you have them installed well. Sometimes if they're not installed properly, they will come apart when you use them the first few times. So here again is a section of unfinished, unpapered towels, which has two snaps facing upwards, the same kind. And then two snaps facing downwards, like that. And these are the same kind, but the opposite of the ones on the other side. And then I can take the roll and snap them on like that and keep rolling them up and then you can just roll each one onto your paper towel onto your roll and they'll be ready to be used and then you can keep them in a basket or something as they get used in your kitchen and wash them as they need it I'm going to continue making some more of these and I'll be back in a little bit. So here's our roll of paper towels, unpaper paper towels, and they're all together with the snaps and can be snapped off to be used. I have these few extras that I can either put snaps on or if you don't want to have them on a roll, you can always just have a little pile of these somewhere in your kitchen and they'll be there for when you need them. I hope you enjoyed this project. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Visit our website by clicking the iCard to find the links to follow us. If you are on Pinterest, pin our projects to save them. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, to find lots of other recycled craft projects and tutorials. <music>